The honeybee pollination process is essential for the reproduction of many plants and the production of fruits and seeds. Here's an overview of how it works. Foraging for nectar and pollen. Honeybees visit flowers to collect nectar and pollen. Nectar is a sugary liquid produced by flowers to attract pollinators, while pollen is the male reproductive material of flowers. Pollen collection. As bees land on flowers, Pollen from the flower's anthers, male part, sticks to the bee's body, especially the hairs on their legs and body. Pollination. While the bee is collecting nectar and pollen, some of the pollen grains from the bee's body are transferred to the stigma, female part, of the same flower or another flower of the same species. This transfer of pollen enables fertilization. Fertilization. Once pollen grains reach the stigma, they travel down the style to the ovary where fertilization occurs. This results in the formation of seeds and the development of fruit. Returning to the hive, bees return to their hive with nectar and pollen. The nectar is processed into honey and the pollen is used as a protein source to feed the bee larvae. Impact on plants. The process of pollination leads to the production of seeds and fruit, which are vital for the plant's reproductive cycle. Many crops, including fruits, vegetables and nuts rely on honeybee pollination. This mutually beneficial relationship highlights the importance of honeybees in ecosystems and agriculture. Without bees, many plants would struggle to reproduce, leading to a decline in food sources for various organisms, including humans. Do follow for more such content.